Hey Pisces! Welcome to the weekly love reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is from October 12th to the 21st. So for those who are new to my channel, I always go over my meditative session first, which is energy that I pick up in and around you. So it's energy you could be experiencing directly, or it could be energy from someone within your environment or someone you're energetically attached to, which is someone you think about, someone you talk about, and of course it is energy so it can be reversed or vice versa, okay? Then we're going to go ahead and do the pre-shuffle on screen and then we'll do uh, the actual tarot reading. For any information or questions, Questions you got about tarot or me or the channel or the decks I use please look below there's a lot of information there okay Pisces <laughs> Pisces stop <laughs> stop making yourself crazy stop making yourself crazy Pisces oh my gosh the energy I was I was picking up on was almost dizzying okay it's this energy of like going in a circle like loop de loop de loop de loop okay and I feel like for, and that's translating in very different ways for some of you. Some of you, it's just your internal thinking of like, you can't get off of a topic or like every time you think about how to resolve an issue or something that's been bothering you or a relationship, whatever, you kind of end up back where you started in your thought process. For some, that's like bordering on obsession of like, what do I do? What do I do? Are they going to call me? Are they going to text me? And what about, what about this job? Am I going to get that interview? What if that, what if this, what if that? It's like, it's very nine of swords seven of cups energy pisces do not make yourself crazy with this okay some of you are having circular arguments where you could be arguing with someone or having a discussion with someone or trying to resolve something with someone and you just keep going back to where you fucking started and you're just like we're, we're never gonna we're, we're never gonna resolve this i mean it's like, like some of you are just like how are we ever gonna resolve this if we just if we can't agree and we just have circular reasoning circular arguments and we just keep going over this and over this and over this with no resolution inside it's like you want off the track you're you you've been around the track 386 times and you're you're done you're done you're done your your gas tank is empty you can't really do it anymore pisces you can't really do it anymore some of you could feel like someone's running circles around you it's just it's that energy very dizzying so however that's resonating for you mentally emotionally within a circular argument or circular conversation a circular fucking problem sorry i'm like because some of you are really frustrated here some of you are really frustrated some of you feel like someone is like running circles around you someone uh you could feel like someone is like playing games with you as well pisces keep in mind this could all be vice versa someone could be feeling this way about a pisces from my cross watchers um but yeah it's just like it's this dizzying like i, I stop like like stop stop like <laughs> I need off the ride. I need off the ride. I need off the track. How do I break out of this? Some of you are having a really hard time breaking out of this energy. Pisces, some of you also feel like you're stuck in a cycle and like there's no way out. Oh my God. It feels very Nine of Swords. Like there's no way out of this cycle. Some of you feel like it's whatever situation you're finding yourself in, it's not fair. I was, I was hearing that when I was meditating on your energy. Um, it's not fair. This isn't fair. This isn't fair. You could feel like... Um, you're, yeah, some of you just feel really stuck in the same situation and like no matter what you have tried You just feel like why am I still stuck here? That's definitely for some of you. So like I said circular Energy, however, that's resonating for you in the different ways I described as examples here. Okay I did see honey badger, which I thought was actually kind of cool. If you guys have never seen honey badgers They're badass. They are they're crazy badass little animals like they're actually a little scary <laughs> They're a little scary. Um, they could take on a lot of different big ass animals because they're just like, <coughs> hold on. Because mm. they're just that crazy. Okay, Pisces. Some of you, like I said, are frustrated. And I feel like that's for those in many of the situations I described, but specifically those where you feel like, <coughs> oh, Pisces. <sighs> no, yeah, a lot of you guys are arguing. <coughs> So you guys need to work on your throat chakras. Keep in mind, tomorrow's the 11th, the pre-shadow for Mercury Retrograde starts. So yes, until the rest of the year, my throat chakra is going to be more and more agitated. I have a very sensitive throat chakra. So you've noticed it when I do readings, when there's communication problems, which half the time there are, because we're talking about relationships and shit, right? Most people can miscommunicate. Uh, <clears throat> but during Mercury Retrograde, my throat chakra is really messed up. Um, so guys, I already know, I know all the things to do. I'm just telling you in advance. I guess I'm telling my Pisans because you guys care about people. So you guys always like try to give me advice, which I really appreciate. I love you guys, but I'm very aware. It's okay. I'm okay. Um, <clears throat> <clears throat> um, Pisces, there are going to be talks here to get out of this, but with this honey badger energy, it's, that's your frustration level. 
okay, for a lot of you. And it's like you got some of you are going to get to a boiling point on this and just 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 kind of not freak out I don't like that word but that was kind of what I was getting lash out you might lash out at someone because you're tired of the circular arguments you're tired of someone playing games with you you're tired of someone running circles around you you're just you're tired of it you're, you're just you're tired you want to go in a straight line for once <laughs> you're like I'm tired of going in a circle I want to go in a straight line okay but honey badger spirit is very very aggressive it's very proactive and some of you need to do this to get out of this cycle cycles can end they can we just have to learn the lesson to get out of it, right? Right, okay. Oh, my nose gets really itchy when I channel. Sorry, guys. Oh, oh. okay. All right, so let's go ahead and do the pre-shuffle here. Oh my god, oh my goodness. <laughs> Sorry, Pisces. Ah. Oh, I. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, October 12th to the 21st. Hmm. Just taking a peek. Ace of Cups and Eight of Pentacles in reverse. E. Some of you have been ignoring self-care, Pisces. Actually, it's just what I got from that. Yeah, some of you have been, <clears throat> have been ignoring self-care or ignoring, um, ignoring how you feel about something. That's interesting. Ace of Cups is also a new opportunity in love. While you've been in this dizzying circle, Pisces, maybe you've had a love opportunity come up and you've just been kind of like not paying attention to it, not putting energy into it because you just feel so like dizzying, dizzied, dizzied, you feel dizzied. Poisoning forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, October 12th to the 21st. Ugh. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Queen of Wands universe just came out. Aries energy could also be fire or water. I feel like this is your energy, Pisces. You could be a cusper, by the way. Uh, but yeah, I, like you're so frustrated. <laughs> you're so frustrated. You're so frustrated by the situation and you're tired too. You're just freaking tired. Um, I'm hearing that that phrase again. It's not fair. It's not fair. It's not fair. Pisces, you can get out of the merry-go-round. You can. You can get off the track here, okay? Uh, some of you just have to learn some lessons to get out of these karmic cycles. Some of you just have to be the badger and go in guns blazing. I misspoke in that other video I did a couple days ago. <laughs> go in guns blazing here. Um, just to end it. Just to finally be like, I don't need to have a circular argument anymore. I don't need to keep going in circles on this. I'm just going to put it down. I'm just going to put it down. I'm just going to put it down. I'm just going to walk away. So like, honestly, some of you, it's going to be that easy. And I think some of you have been avoiding acknowledging that, that, oh, I just have to walk away. Or I literally just have to put the argument down and turn my back. Sometimes it's that easy, but a lot of people feel like, you know, sometimes it's hard to do. But Pisces, you're frustrated. You're frustrated. You're frustrated with your circumstance. You're frustrated with people. Whatever's making you feel dizzied. You're frustrated. Poisoning forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Pisces. Seven of Swords in reverse. Aquarian energy. You're very frustrated. You're very frustrated. Again, it's this energy of just like, it's not fair. It's not fair, it's not fair, it's not fair. Um, or the way people are coming at you, or the circular arguments, or feeling like you can't get out of something. You feel like at this point, it's like a lot of your opportunities or progress or just growth have been like almost stunted because of it, like sabotaged in a way. Pisces, like I said, a lot of you can get out of this. I think maybe because you have been in it for so long and it's making you dizzy, 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 it's hard to see that. It's hard to see that. Let's see here. Wow. The moon in reverse, Piscean energy, could also be a. Uh, that's where it almost said Aquarius, could be an aqua. Um, cancer. Cancer, for me as a reader with the Fool, Aries energy could also be Aquarius because it's a Uranus card. You could have a moon in aqua placement. Keep in mind the full moon in Aries is on the 13th. I'll be doing a video on it tonight. Ace of Pentacles in reverse, and then we have the Seven of Cups in reverse, Scorpionic energy. Yeah, this is the wake up call, Pisces, to be like, I'm getting off the track. I'm too frustrated. This has gone on for too long. I'm tired of the bullshit. I'm tired of feeling like I'm dizzy all the goddamn time. I'm breaking away here because th this is not stable shit. 
this isn't stable and I don't want to miss any more opportunities. Okay, Pis uh, Pisces, that's basically, why did that feel weird for a second? Some of your placements might not be a sun or, or a rising. I don't know why I'm getting that. But anyway, um, you realize you need to break away. You realize you need to step off the track, get away from confusion, get away from feeling dizzy. You've missed out on too many opportunities. It's not stable and it's not a sustain sustainable way of being. You're just like, I, I, I can't do this shit anymore. Let's see what else we get and we're going to start the reading soon. Keep in mind, guys, these messages may pertain to the reading. They usually do, but sometimes we get extra messages here, okay? So if this isn't resonating, just hang out. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Pisces. A lot of you, this is just all mental. A lot of you, this is all mental of, of going over an issue over and over and over in your mind. Some of you, that has prevented you taking action on it. Others, it's definitely a cycle in your life with other, whether it's family, work, your own self-growth, love. Um, some of you, it's circular arguments and others you feel like you're getting messed with. You feel like you're actually getting messed with here. Like someone's playing games with you. Blazing breath, just not elephant. Ooh, three of cups in reverse here. Yeah, this is you breaking away from people. For some of you, this is you breaking away from people. Um, you could feel like your own social network is doing this to you, confusing you in a way. This is interesting. Some of you have become suspicious of the people around you recently. Um, oh, yeah, this is interesting. Yeah, some of you have recently become very suspicious of the people around you. That's actually very indicative of the Mercury Scorpio energy we're going to be having for the rest of the year. Well, not rest of the year, but till December anyway. Um, but yeah, very suspicious. Very suspicious and wanting to break away from that. Um, also, I'm getting with that circular argument, especially those in romantic situations. It's like, I can't, I can't uh -huh. there's no piecing this together. <laughs> See, like, you're so frustrated, Pisces. You're so frustrated. There's no putting this shit back together. There's no resolution here. How many times are we going to go in circles? Oh, my God. You're making me dizzy, Pisces. <laughs> okay. All right, let's go ahead and get into the reading here. For those are who, are who are new to my channel, are new to tarot, please know these messages are very general. Messages come through for those who need to hear them, okay? So it's not going to be for everybody. As you heard me set the intention, if this isn't your message, it's just not your message, and there's nothing wrong with that. And there are a lot of readers on YouTube that are great and fabulous, so please check them out, okay? Also, guys, keep it high vibe as much as possible, especially for those who will be watching the premiere. Hi, guys. Um, yeah, please keep a high vibe because that does affect the energy of the chat, okay? And also just law of attraction. You want good shit to come your way? Try to be high vibe about it, all right? Uh, also, guys, we are working with energy, so just so the messages can be reversed or vice versa. And don't get hung up on the gender of the cards. I think it's gender specific. We all have masculine and feminine energy. And yes, this is uh, the time frame of the 12th to the 21st, but time is not linear. Whenever you're guided to watch a reading is when you're guided to watch it and we work through energy differently. This could have already happened for you or you could be way, way far away from this energy. Okay? All right, Pisces, let's get into this. Any messages for Pisces? Regarding love, any messages for Pisces? Regarding love, October 12th to the 21st, any messages for Pisces? So I saw elephant, I'm seeing a kangaroo. I don't know. I love that they show me animals, but sometimes I'm just like, oh, spirit, like, don't show me a whole zoo. <laughs> I don't need to see the whole zoo. Elephants are about wisdom. They're definitely about wisdom. I'm also hearing integrity, actually integrity pisces especially those of you dealing with another person as opposed to just like thinking 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 within you know your own head here for those actually dealing with another person in a circular argument or, or a cycle that you feel like you can't get out of it's time to practice some wisdom and, and keep your integrity intact uh, i do feel for some of you a situation has become toxic uh yeah yeah for some of you a situation has become toxic with the king of rue i I don't know the spirit meaning behind that. So intuitively, yeah, intuitively, I just feel like it's about making moves. Also protection, maybe? Making moves and protection. You feel, you feel a little vulnerable here, Pisces, and you don't like it. You guys are usually very, like, you know, transparent people, but it's, Whatever this dizzying energy is, it does make you feel a little vulnerable, uh, Pisces, and you want to feel protected from that. You want to, you might even, um, 
Will you become guarded? I'm surprised you're not guarded already. Oh, I think because you're just so tired. Because you're so tired. When people are fatigued, it's really hard to stay guarded. Yeah, you just feel too vulnerable. Any messages for Pisces regarding love, October 12th to the 21st? But it is time to make some moves, Pisces. I think you know that. You know that. Okay. <clears throat> Any messages for Pisces regarding love, October 12th to the 21st? Oh, Pisces, here you are. The High Priestess, Piscean Energy, also Gemini for me as a reader. Yeah, it's time to stay tapped into, into your intuition here, Pisces. There, I do feel like there's a lot not being said, though. There is a lot not being said. As much as like a circular argument is, is occurring for some of you between you and someone else, uh, or it's just, again, that, that you're stuck in a cycle and it's dizzying and it's pissing you off, there is something here that's very much hidden from you, okay? For those dealing with people one-on-one -on -one or multiple people, there are secrets. There are secrets. The truth is just not being spoken. The truth isn't being spoken here. Pisces, you know, you know this. You know this. You're either holding back on something, Pisces, which is making the arguments worse, again, for those dealing with another person. Um, Pisces, you also know the way out of, of the cycle you're finding yourself in. For those where it's just you're stuck in like a, a loop in your thought process, there's puzzle pieces missing that are being kept from you right now. Tapping into your intuition is going to help you no matter what situation you're finding yourself in. Any other messages for Pisces? Any other messages for Pisces regarding love, October 12th to the 21st? Hmm. Any messages for Pisces regarding love, October 12th to the 21st? Oh, the sun, Leo energy. Oh, that's those are some intense major arcanas right here. With the high priestess and the sun this is a lot of illumination coming through here pisces uh you're gonna find the way out you will break free you will break free from the cycle the circular thinking the circular arguments someone playing games with you you're gonna break free because the truth is gonna come out the truth is gonna come out and pisces subconsciously a lot of you already know the truth or know how to break away it's just a matter of accepting the truth and being honest with yourself too just saying sometimes when we think about some things for so long if you're getting stuck in like a circular way of thinking it's because we're not looking at it differently it's kind of like the definition of insanity right if you keep thinking about something the same way arguing about something in the same way it's going to be the same <laughs> right how could it ever be different uh it's time to acknowledge the things deep down that you don't really want to acknowledge about the situation uh no matter what situation you're finding yourself in okay but truth is going to come out. Clarity will be had. Any other messages for Pisces? Regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Any other messages for Pisces? Ah, see, there you go, Pisces. You will get off the, the track here, okay? Eight of Swords in reverse, Gemini energy. You will get off the loop-de-loop. -loop. You will. You will break free here. Any other messages for Pisces regarding love, October 12th to the 21st? Any messages for Pisces regarding love, October 12th to the 21st? Any messages for Pisces regarding love, October 12th to the 21st? Aha, miscommunication, I'm not surprised. Eight of Wands in reverse. <laughs> Sagittarian energy. This is also my designated Mercury retrograde card. So yeah, you will you will literally get off the track, Pisces. You will get out of the loop-de-loop. -loop. You'll get out of the confusing circular way of thinking about something. You'll get out of the circular arguments. You'll get out of the cycle. You'll get out. You'll get out. You'll be finally walking a straight line and not be in a fucking loop-de-loop -loop anymore, okay? Overall energy, we have Ten of Swords in reverse, Gemini energy, but then we've got the star. Aquarian energy. I love this because even though clearly you're ending a cycle because you're getting off the loop-de-loop -loop here, some of you it is very painful to do it, which is why you've been, maybe been putting it off and having trouble accepting some things deep down you already knew about it. Um, either way, you're getting off. You're getting off and you'll have healing as well with that star card. 
This looks beautiful, Pisces. This looks really beautiful. I'm really happy with this, actually. And again, you could be a cusper, Pisces, and Aqua, both the major arcanas here. Yeah, we've got three majors and three minors, just pointing that out. So, Pisces, you have a four-card reading. So let's go ahead and look at the High Priestess. Let's look at you and see what we got going on with that. Um, being drawn to Legacy for, you, for this one. Or Spellcasters. No, Legacy. So I'm with the High Priestess for Pisces. So I'm with the High, because, like, sorry, they're drawing me back to this Eight of Wands in reverse. So Eight of Wands in reverse is blockages, miscommunication, delayed movement. Not going in a straight line, essentially, here. This has been the big block here, Pisces, whether it's been a mental block because you couldn't see all the pieces or you didn't want to accept all the missing pieces to your solution to stop thinking about something over and over and over again. Um, or if you were going in circles with somebody, again, this is getting out of that, getting away from that, or if you were stuck in a cycle with, excuse me, sorry, <laughs> I had a lot of coffee. Um, sorry, that totally distracted me. Uh, or if you were stuck in a cycle with somebody, or circular arguments, whatever. Either way, that's what this represents. These were the blockages causing you to be that way. And Eight of Swords in a verse, you're going to be released from that. Okay, so let's look at the High Priestess. Time of the High Priestess for Pisces. Time of the High Priestess for Pisces regarding love. October 12th to the 21st. Time with the High Priestess for Pisces regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Oh, it was a lot of cards. Okay, just the top one, just the top one, because that was a lot. King of Cups, Scorpionic Energy could also be water or air. Is this someone you're connecting to, Pisces? I feel like there's someone you're connecting to. I feel like there's someone you're definitely connecting to here. Feels like a very sweet energy. A very masculine energy, but also very uh, watery, very like emotional and quiet. Oh, this is interesting and kind of quiet. So I'm more about the High Priestess. This could be you, Pisces. This could definitely be you, but I feel like it's someone you're connecting with. Let's see what else we get here. It's all it's all in the subject of uh, love and commitment and loyalty, whether that's just to yourself or to another person. Oh wow! And now we have the hair font in reverse. Taurian energy. We now have the High Priest and the High Priestess out here. Yeah, this is about commitment. King of Cups of the Hierophant in reverse. This is definitely about commitment here. Breaking away from commitments. Pisces, maybe. like I said, you've kind of been wanting to break away from a while, for a while. The Tower. Scorpionic energy could also be Aries because it's Mars. Yeah, this feels, like a, this feels like falling apart of commitment. Definitely feels like a falling apart of a commitment here, okay? Which, can't, which isn't always a bad thing. Like I said, Pisces, it's like some of you have been wanting off the track for a while, okay? Whatever this is. It could also be breaking away from institutions because you're trying to give love to yourself and be loyal to yourself. Saw how that tower just fell? <laughs> I thought this tower is going to fall hard. Whatever this tower moment is for you, Pisces, it's going to fall hard. Yeah, some of you um, are tired of being committed to either like a toxic work environment as well. Or they keep wanting me to say institution, institution. That could be governments, that could be schools, it could even be hospitals, right? Institutions, the man. Tell me more about the high priestess for Pisces. Tell me more about the high priestess for Pisces. Pisces, and again, it could be vice versa too, or maybe you're sensing that someone's trying to break away from you. Tell me about the high priestess for Pisces. Yeah, tell me about the high priestess for Pisces regarding love. Wow, ending with the Six of Cups, Scorpionic Energy, could also be past life soulmate karmic energy here. Yeah, this could just be between you and a soulmate, without a doubt. Because this is really interesting energy, look at that. Heavy, heavy Scorpio. We have Scorpio, 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 and then Taurus right here. This could all be going down in Scorpio season for you as well. Like I said, time is not linear. We all work through energy differently here. For some, this is a straight up breakup. Others, it's breaking away from commitments or contracts. Others, it's breaking away from institutions. Overall energy, we do have the Wheel of Fortune, Jupiter energy. I love this. The wheel, and it's funny because it's like you went off the loop-de-loop. -loop. <laughs> to get off the loop-de-loop, -loop, you, you have to push the loop forward. <laughs> you have to push the wheel forward and then you can go straight. 
then you can go straight underneath that we do have the queen of wands aries energy could also be fire or water i do feel like this is you here okay to take action to going straight to breaking away going whatever it is you need to go getting away from the circular dizzying way of being underneath that we have the eight of swords in reverse releasing yourself this is you releasing yourself pisces i like it let's look at this tower though let's look at this tower um is Lenormand deck for this one? Ooh. Okay. Tell me about the tower. We have the lilies with the king of swords, Aquarian energy. It could also be Gemini or Libra with the 30. Breaking down to a three, communication. There's also a card of spirituality and maturity. Okay, this is making a wise decision, elephant spirit, making a very wise decision, a very clear headed decision and communicating what needs to happen here, communicating, getting off the loop de loop. Okay, to whoever it is, you got to communicate it to even if it's just between you and you. Interesting. Now we have the broom and the stork. Uh, Knight of Wands. I know they're very little cards. Knight of Wands, Sag energy could also be... <coughs> could also be Aries or Leo and the Queen of Cups Cancerian energy could also be, be Pisces or Scorpio 11 with 17 breaking down to an eight here so this is leading to success this is cleaning house that's what I'm getting with this cleaning house yeah most definitely making that mature decision to communicate hey things need to change stork is about changes it's also about fertility because it is the Queen of Cups right like a lot of like emotion and um, nesting, you know, for, you know, preg you know, pregnancy vibrations, but I feel more it's about change. Cleaning house with communicating and being like, look, this is what needs to change in this situation. Even if it's a conversation you're having with yourself or other people, this is what needs to happen. This is what needs to happen. Tell me more about the tower. Keep in mind, we do have the queen of cups here to the king of cups so some of you like i said is a true pair situation a soulmate situation sometimes soulmates are just meant to teach us lessons but a lot of you this is just happening internally with yourself tell me about the tower for pisces i just heard scorpio tell me about the tower for pisces let's see overall ooh, we've got the fox with the nine of wands 14 breaking down to a five here being very very determined to change shit and also being clever, this is a card of like cleverness, a little sneakiness, a little wittiness too. But we also have that card of clear-headed communication, right? So this is being smart in a situation, being smart about how you're going about this, being wise about how you're going about this, Pisces. And Nine of Wands, very determined to put things right because underneath that we do have the star energy of 16 breaking down to a seven being on your path and heading there with the Six of Cups. Six of Cups is also an energy of just loving, right? Just love, love for yourself. Also healing inner child for some of you here. Um, also having enough love and respect for this person too, for those dealing with another person. Yeah, for those dealing with another person, having enough love and respect for them too to release them. Yeah, going about this the right way to heal a situation, even if it means going your separate ways from someone or just changing something about you or your environment to get off this loop-de-loop -loop way of thinking, okay? Or thinking about a topic or feeling like you're stuck in a rut, essentially. Okay, let's keep it going. Where are we at? Oh my God, we're at 28 minutes. <laughs> I didn't mean to spend so much time on that card. But then we go into the sun. So let's look at the sun and then we'll look at this, um, this energy over here, okay? Let's look at the sun. I'm gonna use Gilded for this one. Sun for Pisces. Time about the sun for Pisces regarding love. October 12th to the 21st. Time about the sun for Pisces regarding love. October 12th to the 21st. Time about the sun for Pisces regarding love. October 12th to the 21st. Time with the sun for Pisces regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Time with the sun. Wow, six of pentacles in reverse, Taurian energy. The imbalance, the imbalance and the exhaustion that comes with being on a track, being stuck in a cycle, being stuck in a loop-de-loop. -loop. You're realizing how much instability it's brought to your life. Time out the sun. Time out the sun 
for Pisces. Whoa! Hold on. <laughs> cards exploded. And two cards fell on the floor really far away. Hold on a second. Oh, okay. We've got, oh, Pisces. Yep. Mm hmm. Hangman in reverse, Piscean energy with the Eight of Cups, more Piscean energy. You know to walk away. You get it now. Realizing how how much instability this situation or this way of being has brought to you, this is the illumination of that. This is the illumination. And it's like, oh shit, I do need to leave this. I do need to get off the track. I gotta get off the track. I gotta get off the track. I gotta get out of this relationship, away from this job, um, away from the circular reasoning. It just keeps you stuck. It keeps you stuck. Tell me about the sun. Now we have a queen of pentacles in reverse. Capricorn energy could also be earth or water. This is interesting. Why don't I like this energy very much? I'm not loving this energy. Um, Pisces, this energy, I feel like this is more for those dealing with another person, okay? Um, mm. This person is very fixated on themselves and the 3D, 3D, 3D materials. Very focused on themselves. Very, very focused on themselves. They're really focused on money too. Nothing wrong with focusing on money. Hey, at the end of the day, we all got bills to pay, right? We all got bills to pay. But this person, it's like, it's almost, is it obsessed? Mm, it's occupied their, their headspace for a little bit too long. It's occupied their headspace for a little bit too long. Pisces, for those where you're just dealing with yourself, I feel like those stuck in a loop-de-loop, -loop, again, where it's just you, I feel like it's in regards to work or your security or stability. Uh, and maybe you, I, I think maybe you've become, you've been in it too long, okay? You've been in it too long. For those where you're just dealing with yourself, you've been in this way of thinking too long about your money, your pentacles, your stability, your job, your career, to the point where you've lost focus on what, you've lost focus on what's important. And this illumination is showing you that, like, hey, You've lost your balance here. You've lost your grounding. You forgot what's important. Go back to what's important, okay? For those where you're just dealing with yourself. But for those where you're dealing with another person, um, I don't love this energy. This feels like a very kind of, I don't want to say selfish, but it does. It feels a little bit like a selfish energy here, Pisces. Wait, didn't I have another card that fell out here? I guess not. Did I imagine that? Okay, that's weird. I swore I picked up two cards, and now I, can't, I, I only see the one. All right, whatever. <laughs> Tell me more about the sun. Tell me more about the sun. I don't think the timeline changes. I was sitting here. Tell me more about the sun for Pisces regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Tell me more about the sun. Oh boy. Now we have a queen of swords in reverse. Oh, come on. There we go. Queen of Swords in reverse. Libra energy could also be air or water with the Four of Swords. More Libra energy. This is taking that time out, taking a break from this, needing that break, needing that enlightenment here. Yeah, Pisces, I feel like this is you making that decision. Like, okay, I need to go back to what's important. Let me go and, and take a time out and figure out what's important to me. For those where you're dealing with another person, I feel like the other person you're dealing with is just... They're a little self-absorbed. I'm just being honest here, Pisces. They're a little self-absorbed here. And you're like, okay, time out. <laughs> time out. I'm going to go get off the track. I'm going to go figure out how to get off the track because I, I can't do this. This I, I can't do this with you. I can't do this with you. Overall energy, I love it. Devil in reverse, Capricorn energy. This is releasing that bondage, releasing the obsession, the bondage of being stuck in that circular way of thinking. <laughs> circular way of thinking or... <coughs> Damn it. Or being stuck and restricted within a relationship or a cycle with another person. You're breaking away. You're cutting the chains of being stuck on the track here, Pisces. I like it. I really, really like it. Hold on. Let me get some water. Ah, okay. I'm a mess today. I don't know what's going on with me. I feel so clumsy today. Mm. <laughs> Got water everywhere. Okay. Eight of Swords in reverse and Eight of Wands in reverse. This is you breaking away and breaking free. Now, the Eight of Wands in reverse, I'm curious about because this is that loop de loop and being stuck on the track. But I suppose breaking free is best. Sorry, guys. Um, yeah, okay. Let's look at the Eight of Swords. 
We'll look at the Eight of Swords in reverse and we'll pull some advice. Mmm, spellcasters. Tell me about the Eight of Swords in reverse. Tell me about the Eight of Swords in reverse for Pisces. Tell me about the Eight of Swords in reverse for Pisces regarding love. October 12th to the 21st. Time with the Eight of Swords in reverse for Pisces regarding love. October 12th to the 21st. Time with the Eight of Swords in reverse for Pisces regarding love. October 12th to the 21st. Five of Pentacles, Taurian energy. Yeah, whatever the situation has been, it's been very oppressive to you, Pisces. Very oppressive, and it's it's almost been taking in a way, too, because it's really thrown you off balance. And for those where you're done with another person, they do feel a little materialistic here. You could have been giving a lot of money. They could have been taking a lot of your stability in the form of whatever your stability is to you, okay? Leaving you in a place of feeling like I'm, like I don't have a whole lot left. Whether I don't have a whole lot of security left, I don't have a whole lot of money left, um... I, I just, I like feeling lack, feeling, feeling lack, feeling oppressed. You're releasing yourself from that. Okay. And for those where you've been stuck in a cycle of your own making, like, you know, I can't get out of this. I can't get out of this. Life is unfair. Life is unfair. Keep in mind the way we think and the words we speak are very powerful, Pisces. They really are. If you keep telling yourself nothing's going to change, if you keep telling yourself uh, life will always be unfair to you, if you keep telling yourself, I'm not going to get this, I'm not going to get that, that's not going to work out for me, that's exactly what's going to happen, okay? Some of you just need to change the way you see things. Some of you just need to change the way that you think here in order to get out of that cycle. And I feel like for a lot of you where it's just a conversation between you and you, it's definitely about your pentacles, Okay which is stability, home, money, career. But for those where you're dealing with another person, it's just been very oppressive, very oppressive. Tell me about the Eight of Swords in reverse for Pisces. Tell me about the Eight of Swords in reverse. Yeah, see, King of Swords in reverse. Aquarian energy could also be Gemini or Libra. No clarity when you're like this. You, how can you think straight when you feel oppressed? You can't. You can't. That's the hard part about being oppressed. There's no way to, to think straight. It's hard to think straight. Let's see here. The chariot, Cancerian energy, moving away from that. Moving away from that, I like it. I like that a lot. Feels really good, Pisces. Tell me about Eight of Swords in reverse. Tell me about Eight of Swords in reverse for Pisces. Moving away from that oppression, moving away from devil energy, moving away from lack, and into illumination, into clarity, into freedom. Tell me about Eight of Swords in reverse. You just couldn't see the way out, Pisces. You just couldn't see the way out. Overall energy, we have that Queen of Wands in reverse. Aries energy could also be fire or water. Underneath that, Magician in reverse. Mercurial energy, so Virgo, Gemini could also be Aquarius, Scorpio for me as a reader. Divine masculine energy. This is the energy of being oppressed, right? As you were frustrated, you were pissed off. How can I manifest my way out? You can't if you're doing negative self-talk. You can't if you're doing negative self-talk. And for those where you're dealing with another person, for some you were being manipulated, and for some you were being manipulated for money. Okay? It's not for all of you, but some of you were just being straight up manipulated. Okay? You felt it, Pisces. All these little blocks that I'm talking about, you felt all of them subconsciously, intuitively. It's just a matter of accepting them. Because once you accept the truth about something or someone, even if it's just your, a truth about yourself, you'll actually see it. And once you can fully see it, you can see the way out of it. Right? Right. Okay, Pisces, let's go ahead and get some advice for you. Let's get some advice. Why am I feeling compelled to pull romance angels? No, I don't want to. I don't want to pull romance angels. Let's pull advice, Pisces. Let's pull advice. Ah, okay, I didn't even start, but Skunk Spirit wanted to come out. I'm not going to take it, but I'm going to show it to you. Know Your Worth did come out here. Which, for those doing negative self-talk, that's what that's about. Okay. Any advice for my Pisceans regarding this spread? Any advice for my Pisceans regarding this spread? Any advice for my Pisceans regarding this spread? Hi, come on. 
Keep in mind, Pisces, this energy is screaming at me a little bit regarding magic. That's only for a couple of you. Uh, magician can be a trickster energy. Queen of Wands is usually somebody who practices the arts, so to speak. So if that's the case, you would already know. It's just giving you confirmation, okay? Any advice for Pisces regarding this spread? Any advice for Pisces regarding this spread? Any advice for my Pisceans regarding this spread? Any advice for my Pisceans regarding this spread? Any advice for my Pisceans regarding this spread? Nightingale spirit, love is all around. I like this, 41 breaking down to a five. This is interesting, Pisces, because I'm getting a lot of change and transformation on this card. You're breaking away from this because you want to be surrounded by love. You want to be surrounded by positivity and hope and someone who's gonna really nurture you. Nightingale spirit usually comes out for me as a reader when there is a significant love interest involved in this. Pisces, you know, the only, the only energy that really kind of stood out as an outlier was this King of Cups. And it's attached to you breaking away. So Pisces, some of you could be breaking away to go towards this energy or knowing that this is an energy you want. That love and loyalty that I was talking about here, okay? Because whatever situation you're finding yourself in, if you're involved with someone, you're not getting this. You're not getting this. You're not getting nurtured. You're not getting loved on. Uh, you're feeling very oppressed. You're feeling very oppressed and it's making you crazy. You could be having circular arguments with them like I was talking about before. And for those where it's more about a battle within yourself, with yourself so to speak that's definitely in regards to your pentacles um it, it's time to be a little bit more gentle with yourself and have some more positive positive self-talk some positive ways of thinking to attract more of that into your life okay any other advice for my piscians regarding this spread any other advice for my piscians regarding this spread Any other advice for my Pisceans regarding this spread? Oh, God. <coughs> mm. Yeah, water. Sorry, guys. Let's <clears throat> try to see if I can get by without it. Mm. 11.44 on my stove. Okay. <coughs> Any advice for my Pisceans regarding this spread? Any advice for my Pisceans regarding this spread? Any other advice for my Pisceans regarding this spread? Oh, I love when this happens. Elephant just came out. Elephant spirit, learn from the past. 25, yeah, 25 breaking down to a seven. Being on your path, heading in the right direction because now you have the wisdom, because now you have the clarity. You go from being oppressed, confused, going in freaking circles with another person, going in circles with yourself. How do I get out? How do I get out? How do I get out of this maze? You finally get that illumination of what to do and what, you're, what you should be doing and the reality of your situation. And it's like, oh, I see now. I see now as, hold on, where's the card? As the high priestess with the sun card, I, I get it now. I get it now. I get it now. I get it now. I freaking get it now. Also, some of you guys have been going through an ascension with the sun card here and the high priestess just saying, some of you guys could be going through that. Um, practicing that wisdom and clarity to be like, okay, I know the definition of insanity and I'm going to choose to be sane. <laughs> I like it, Pisces. Overall energy. Oh, that's so funny. Hold on, sorry. I'm, I'm jumping. I'm getting ahead. Sorry. Ant spirit, time to collaborate with the energy of one underneath that. What did I just say? You see clearly now. You see clearly now. Owl spirit, 43, breaking down to a seven. You got two sevens here. There's also my high priestess card. I mean, doesn't that just scream high priestess? Look at that. Just screams high priestess. Anyway. So Pisces, like I said. <coughs> ah, Pisces, like I said, with your intuition, you are going to be illuminated as far as what you need to do, how oppressive your situation really is, the way how your way of thinking might have been contributing to that for those where it's a conversation between you and yourself. And it's time to get to work, right? It's time to make moves on, to getting where it is you need to go. For some of you, like I said, I did pick up on that um, energy of being nourished by another person. 
someone who is very emotionally nour nourishing, nourishing, someone who could be on the other end of this when you walk that straight line and get off this track. Some of you could be realizing that that's someone that you need to be uh, dealing with or having in your environment because you want to be surrounded by love and positivity and not toxicity. Someone like this can really bring that to the table, whether you know this person or it's like just an idea that you're a concept you're, re you're recognizing for yourself. Like, oh, I need more of this in my life. Whether you're giving that to yourself or you're gonna go and surround yourself with these kind of individuals, okay? Underneath that, we do a beaver. <laughs> Lay a solid foundation, energy of six. Especially with time to collaborate. This is really putting the work in with someone who you feel deserves your efforts. For those where you're seeking out another person, okay? For those where it's, again, more about you and yourself, this is about doing this for you. Laying a solid foundation with your pentacles, right? Like I said, for a lot of you where it's just a conversation between you and you, it's about your pentacles, your stability, your money, your job, and it's time to go and get to work, okay? Pisces, this was a little intense. Water signs, it usually is. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. I thought it was pretty insightful and helpful. Don't forget to go check out Patreon along with Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And I will see you guys later. Have a great night, Pisces. Namaste.